Hello there, welcome back to Simon Shed and today we are in the shed but we're actually uh, not looking at model trains we are looking at a brand new resin 3D printer from Elegoo uh, it's the Mars 3 Pro which has just come out and I pre-ordered a little while ago and has just arrived so today we're going to go through um, what you get in the box we're going to go through how it compares to the Mars 3 and the other printers in the range and give you the specs and also uh, we're going to figure out if it's beginner friendly because I have never printed anything at all on any kind of 3, 3D printer so uh, this should be a really good test of uh, yeah, how beginner friendly it is so the package arrived and here it is uh, let me give you the essential specs uh, the price is three hundred dollars they charge you in dollars i paid around 240 pounds when it was converted and you get a 4k screen that gives you the sort of fine detail in the prints and this is essentially the biggest thing you can print is within those sizes so while we unpack it let's uh, have a quick look at the differences between the 3 and the 3 Pro you've got a improved screen with an anti-scratch glass so it's uh, supposed to be better for transmitting light and uh, harder to scratch they've reckon they've improved the sort of lens that lets the light through as well uh, to improve the light uniformity and uh, there's with the Pro models you get the built-in carbon filter to filter out some of the smells we'll come back to that later and they reckon they've improved the heat dissipation as well which uh, gives better cooling and supposedly improves the life of the printer so we're nearly unpacked we've obviously got everything here the printer the lead a couple of spatulas a metal one and a plastic one some tools to level the build plate uh, some spare uh, fep screens and some gloves and filters and so on what you don't get is any resin and uh, would be nice if they included a, just a small bottle of resin but you, you do not get any resin with it uh, but you get everything else you need and it's all already built all you need to do is level the build plate which is just two allen screws and you get the satisfaction of uh, peeling off a couple of these sheets very satisfying so far very impressed with the quality except for that switch which is uh, very plasticky and clunky and kind of detracts but the rest of it is very good and as you can hear there the noise of that fan is a little bit annoying and not great so we've got some Sunlu standard resin it's the semi-transparent blue pour some of that gloop into your tank plug in your USB drive and press print and select what you want to print and the first thing I printed uh, is not actually that shot it's uh, a couple of sort of validation prints uh, or calibration prints and I couldn't resist throwing on one of my own designs which is the main question I want to answer can this printer print n scale model railway stuff so I put a fence on there which is very very fine and flimsy and wondered if that would print so yeah it dunks the plate into the goop and starts taking uh, flashing the UV light to cure each layer so there you see the car the filter with the green light on the white box in the background sort of filtering out some of the smell have to say I really wasn't bothered by the smell at all it's very I found it quite faint and after watching a lot of YouTube videos I, I was expecting you know uh, a terrible smell with sort of birds dropping out of the sky and me choking and so on but really wasn't that bad wow. there's the fence oh 
and there's me being very impressed. Actual fence. Actual fence. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> tiny, tiny little rails on the fence, and it printed out absolutely fine. And you can just see the top of the validation prints back there. Also, another thing that was better than I expected, and I've complained slightly about the on off button uh, and the fan noise, but overall, this is a really heavy, solid machine uh, from some of the other comments people were making about them. I was expecting it to be f sort of cheap and flimsy, but it is, it's rock solid. Um, and the sort of Z axis bit is uh, is very sturdy and the, the top is, is all metal and nicely finished. And yeah, apart from the plasticky on off button, I think it's uh, it's a quality thing. Okay, so here the prints have been washed in IPA. Again, something I found a bit easier than I was expecting. You literally just rinse them off a bit. I don't have a UV light yet to cure the, the prints, which is the next stage after they've been washed off with uh, ethanol or isopropyl alcohol. But uh, I let them cure in the sun and it seems to have done. Now you can see the bubbles on the bottom of the validation print there. Uh, that's because I shook the resin up, which you're supposed to do, but didn't give it time to settle back down and, and pop all the bubbles. So that's something I've learnt. But it's only on the sort of bottom layer. Unfortunately, it was only a validation print. But yeah, the details on that came out very crisply. I tried another one with. Uh, so all the settings were default, apart from this one, which I lowered the exposure from two and a half to two seconds. And it's not come out as well. As you can see, it's a bit underexposed. Well, I, I assume that's that's why it's not as, uh, the details are not as crisp. So yeah, just left everything at the default setting in the end. And this is the one with the little cube again printed out very very well there's a slight sag in the bridge bit you can maybe just about see but only a tiny bit that's supposed to be very difficult to print and it, it did really well you can see through the cube amazed at the the detail that comes out so yeah you can save sort of fifty dollars by getting the the mars 3 and yeah you probably get the same sort of quality prints from that same build volume uh, you're just missing the the little improvements to the screen and the uh the, the charcoal filter to reduce the smell uh, you can save another 60 dollars on top of that and get the mars 2 pro which has a lower resolution screen and a smaller build plate so you can't quite print as big but uh, yeah, that is $190 at the moment. That is an absolute bargain. And these are the, the prints I did. So that was a sort of crossbow that my son <laughs> wanted to print out. And this is obviously Yoda. And yeah, wow. Really, really impressed with the details that come out. And uh, pleasantly surprised um, in terms of the value for money. Um, some of the things that I thought would be really scary actually weren't that bad in terms of cleaning off the resin after after the prints finished and uh, the sort of smell yeah so far so good so i hope that gives you a a good overview of the elegu mastery pro and uh, i'm certainly impressed with mine and very impressed with the quality of my first prints just need to get a curing lamp to uh, speed up the curing process. But yeah, I'll be printing out a lot of little bits for my model railway. So yeah, we'll leave it there for now. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.